Chatting with us now in the studio, Dr. Susan Van Dyke. She is a certified, board certified dermatologist and owner of Van Dyke Laser and Skin out of Scottsdale and a regular on the show and we always enjoy having her. Susan, welcome. Thank you for being here. Dr. Van Dyke, how is the clientele? How's biz? Biz is warming up. You know what? The recession, yeah, I think we've hit the bottom and we're, we're coming up and people want to look good. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out there looking for jobs, maybe wanting to improve in their jobs and they're finding perhaps a little Botox, a little filler or something makes them feel more vital and more marketable in men. We're seeing more men. Yes. Yes. She looked at you. Right you are the only man within range. But you know, men usually are seeing, ah, you know, I don't have to listen. It's not about me. Steve looks pretty good though. He looks, he, fabulous. he looks good, doesn't he? What would you do to Steve? Wow, thank you. Oh, Steve. Hmm. Now, what, if he walked in your office right now with Kelly, well, you know his wife. <laughs> That's right. It's good to have the wife because when you ask the man, why are you here? They usually go, I don't know. <laughs> she told me to come. Um, Here's the thing about aging, is aging has to do with volume, volume in the face. You know, what makes a, a baby look different than a teenager look different from an baby adult? Baby fat. Baby fat, and then you get teenage fat, and then you get that great 20s and 30s fat. And then it's gone. And by the time you, <laughs> when you turn 40, for every year after the age of 40, you lose one teaspoon of volume. Now that doesn't mean just fat, but that's every single year you're gonna lose a little volume. So part of the volume is fat, you know, we look better when we smile because mm -hmm. our, our cheeks are up here. Mm -hmm. Kids' cheeks are always up there. <laughs> so you lose some of that fat, but you also lose muscle and you lose bone. And that doesn't matter if you're an athlete, if you eat well, the whole thing is getting smaller. Imagine a pumpkin, nice big juicy pumpkin who sat out a little too long and it starts to kind of contract and get smaller. Unfortunately, the skin doesn't do it with you. So your structure gets smaller, but your skin doesn't. That's so. scary. I've seen some ugly pumpkins, you know, around <laughs> February or something. Oh, in Phoenix, they're ugly around oh, October yeah. 31st and a half. I guess she's yeah. telling us we look like a pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this no. Is, <laughs> no, this is just, this is what, this is called intrinsic aging. This has to do with just your genetics and time. And, and Dr. Van Dyke, until fillers were invented yes. or developed, yes. we did the face we stretched. Well, here's a good example. Joan Rivers, over time, she just kept doing this and this and this. Yes. Now, if you've seen her more recently, she looks a lot better because what's happening is she's filling in here. Right. So she's gone to fillers to add volume. And this is where it happens. This this is where it happens to a lot of women, right. and then that ages you. If yes. we can add that and back. men. Well, and men, yes, of course. So <laughs> it, yes. So what I, um, one of the newer things that FDA just approved this is called Sculptra Aesthetic, mm -hmm. which is different than a filler. Mm -hmm. It's actually called a biostimulant. It's put in the skin with a little tiny needle, just like fillers are, but you can fill, you can put it in this entire large area at one time, and it will stimulate your own body to make more collagen. Really, truly? Really, truly, really, truly. And we have lots of photographs to prove that point, and it will last a couple years. Really? You can use it with filler. You can use it with Botox to kind of tweak it. So it's stimulating the the body to make its own more of a production exactly. of its own. And it's a subtle onset. So in other words, you may do one, two, three, oh, no, four treatments. Oh, I want treatments. it immediately. Well, that, it's not the right product for you. Huh? <laughs> then it's not the right product for you. Because <laughs> it is a subtle over several months. And okay. it's been, actually, it's been available in the United States for five years. And I've used it extensively. It was initially approved for lipoatrophy which is a medical term meaning a medical wasting of the face, loss of fat. So I have a lot of experience with it, but what's new is this approval for cosmetic use. For normal people like the three of us who might want to see a little bit more fullness, you don't want to make you look like a, a baby again. You don't want no, or a clown. No, you don't want to look silly, but to put back some of that lost volume. And it's really pretty amazing. So it sounds like that it, although it doesn't last indefinitely, it lasts a little longer than the fillers. Correct. Is this what I'm hearing? You're right, because the fillers will last typically a year. Mm -hmm. Now, filler would be uh, Restylane or Juvederm would be the most common ones. Perlane. Perlane, exactly. Oh, you're good. You've been listening to me all this time. <laughs> <laughs> so we, um, what we would do originally with those fillers is we would put them right in here mm -hmm. and in the lips, mm -hmm. which looked great and would last a year. But but then in some people we started to notice that they looked all really well here and they looked sunk in here. Started looking a little too